Terry calls this one of the worst cases of domestic violence he's ever seen, and it's one he says we can all learn from. News Channel 8's John Rogers joins us now live from, from the Pinellas County Jail to explain. John. Good evening, Jen. Christopher Keyes is behind bars here, and he's charged with attempted murder, so he'll likely remain behind bars for quite some time. But officials say over the past few months, there were a number of red flags leading up to the shooting, and this all could have been prevented. For the past few years, an unnamed 24-year-old woman had a dangerous and rocky relationship with Christopher Keyes. This is a very, very uh, tragic case of domestic violence. Both he and his girlfriend have been arrested for domestic violence over the years, but Sheriff Gualtieri tells us the pair continued to stay together and eventually had a daughter. This past summer, the girlfriend filed an injunction against Keyes, so he later tried to cut the brake lines of her car. He even told her she would be dead within a year. That he was trying to kill the victim and his daughter. Despite all this, the woman did not call 911. Sadly, on Monday, she was on her way to drop off her daughter at daycare when she was shot in the face. It sounded like a uh, transformer blowing up. And then I heard the woman screaming down there. She is totally blind in her left eye. Uh, the only thing that she can see out of her right eye are very large and blurred images. Doctors are working to save her, but she may end up totally blind. Keyes is now behind bars and is being held on no bond. And the sheriff says there's a lesson in this. There's law enforcement and other programs available to help victims of domestic abuse. If someone is violently threatening their spouse, there's no need to keep quiet out of fear. Because the sheriff says this crime may have been prevented if she had called 911 months ago. And detectives do need the public's help to find the gun used in the crime. Officials say after the shooting, Keyes drove off uh, in a red Nissan, and they believe at some point he got rid of the gun. So they're trying to see if anyone knows where that gun may be. If you have any information on this case, contact the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office. Jen? It's pretty horrific to think about that baby being in the car at the time of the shooting. Do we know how the baby is doing tonight? The baby is okay. We're told that the baby was unharmed in the shooting and is now with family, Jen. Such a tragic case. John Rogers, live in Pinellas County. Thank you.